I was brought up from age five to 11 by my grandparents. And my grandfather was in both world wars. And it was a big part of his life. I'd go around with him and we'd meet people that he was in the military with. I thought, well, he'd be proud of me if I did well in the military. When I started looking into West Point, I uh, realized how good a school it is. And at that time, it was all engineering. And I was interested in engineering. That's how I got into the into the military. I, I didn't have to go through uh, being a private and uh, work my way up. Uh, I started out as a second lieutenant. I guess, I guess my best, my best uh, period while I was in the military was in Vietnam because I was doing what I was supposed to be doing, not having to do barracks stuff. It was more satisfying work because we you know, I felt like we were doing what we were supposed, to, what we were hired to do, and uh, all the rest of it was preparation for that. Despite the fact that there were just some really grisly, awful things that happened, most of the time it was not grisly, awful things. It, it, they just came along as part of the deal, and uh, you dealt with them. Well, I, I think I did a good job. Um, I got a bunch of medals. I got a bronze star and. Uh, uh, air medals and uh, you know, I wasn't a hero or anything like that but uh, they were confirmation to me that I was doing a good job I've been a lucky guy I've I've lived a really good life I've I've done work that I enjoy doing and I just feel like uh, I feel like I owe it back to something to people I want to pay back uh, one of the goals I had was I wanted to do things for veterans if I could. And I had trouble trying to find something that I was satisfied with. I ran across this VIS program. VIS stands for Veterans Intervention Strategy. We work with veterans that have been arrested for various uh, either low-level crimes. Uh, most of the people we work with have fairly high rating of PTSD go through our program and they can avoid a lot of jail time for what they did. My job is to help them through the program, basically. Um, I'm their best bud in the VIS program. Um, and uh, I meet with them once a week, sometimes, you know, buy them lunch, buy them coffee. It's just saying, you know, how's your week? How are you doing? And I think it's a great program because a lot of these guys, they're not doing this stuff because they want to. These are things they're forced to do. They are things that that happen when you when you've been through the kind of terrifying experiences that they've been through. We're available to help them out, and it's an official help. <laughs>